Go. Hey, yo, what up, yo? It's your boy Crazy Drazy holding it down with Doggy Diamonds TV. You know how we do, man. Number one motherfucking show in the land. You've heard? Holla. Bang. Doggy Diamonds did this. What's up? I'm Doggy Diamonds, and I bring you my hidden jewels. A bunch of interviews never saw before. Behind the scenes footage never saw before. Some of the footage so old, it's not even in HD. Watch this. Today's guest is Crazy Drazy from Daz Effects. Yeah, yeah, what it is, people? It's your boy, Doggy Diamonds. You already know what I do. I'm here with a motherfucking legend. Are you a legend? Facts. See, I like when I like when they be like, yeah, I am Facts. a legend. I put in this Come work. Fuck all that modest shit. And Facts. Let them know who you be. Facts. Crazy Drazy, you know what I mean? Diggy Das Effects, the world famous, you know what I mean? Come on now, do your history. Google me, you know what I'm saying? It's like... Do great adventures to have rides, of course, you know what I'm saying? So, am I a legend? Of course, Crazy Drazy, one of the best to ever do it and still doing that. Bang, bang. So, they might look at you and say, hold up, where the dreads at? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I mean, like anything else, um, you know, you got HBO, you got Netflix, I have the dreads, I ain't got them no more, you know what I'm saying? But I'm still doing what I do, spitting bars. At what point do you say, all right, the dreads gotta go? Back in 90 nothing, it was yeah. 2004. Okay. 2004, I had them since 89, 90, you know what I'm saying? But my group was going through stuff, you know what I'm saying? Damn near on the edge of a breakup, a split up, like every group out there, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, you know what? I need to do something else. It was like freedom and shit, you know what I mean? So um, yeah. was it was it was like a, 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 a butterfly and, and a caterpillar yeah, like you, you came out of the... Yeah. yeah, kid, you know what I'm saying? It felt just like that, you know what I'm saying? It was one of the best moves to do, too, because... You know, also, without me knowing, I was going into a phase of reinventing my shit. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know how certain people feel about that, but I'm one of those motherfuckers that you got to just, you know what I'm saying? Listen, I'm not still wearing the same shit I was wearing in 1992, yeah, yeah. kid. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's just a simple thing. The, um, Daz Effects. Um, yeah. Legendary. Facts. In my opinion, um. I appreciate it. They want effects. Yeah. Damn, like, I yeah. remember it just changing... The world yeah. of hip hop. Yeah. When you made that record, did you know it was gonna be as big as it never, was? Never, never, never. We never really. All my records that I've ever done, I think they're all good. Now that I'm in the game, I think some are better than others. But back when I was doing, we was doing Day One Effects and Dead Serious. Nah, we were still in Virginia, going to Virginia State. My man school from right around the corner here in Brooklyn. I'm from Jersey. Spent a lot of time out in Brooklyn, up and down, up and down, up and down, every which way. So, you know, what I'm saying I, I'm I'm, ad I'm I'm adopted. <laughs> you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? yeah. So, when we did those records, though, we knew. We didn't even know the Iggy was different. We didn't even know none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? We just knew the music was good. You feel me? Was the Iggy something that y'all came up with one day, or was it like y'all played with it on a song and sound good, and y'all just went ran the with Iggy it? The Iggy was one of those things where it came out to it was like you just said the butterfly cocoon thing where. When we were rhyming, especially me, I never liked to have spaces in between my bars. Like, you know, my name is Crazy Drazy, yo, yo, I'm legendary. Been around the world, 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 I'm a style very. Yeah. There's a space in between there, between legendary and yo, yo, my style very. So I wanted to do something between line one and line two. And yeah, then yeah. I learned from Kane by listening to Kane. He would just put um. I was like... Crazy Drazy, yo, I'm legendary. Um, and then they keep going like, yo, this nigga's bad. That's a bad yeah. boy. You dig? Almost like a ghost note with a beat. Yeah, yeah you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, so yeah. I was like, yo, that's slick right there. So I started kind of doing that in my bars, like, mm, and then I think Iggy just slipped out one day because I was doubling up on the words. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Now I think Scoob and I were on the same note because B and we was rhyming together for about three years by then. We was like, you know, so. You know, it's up, flip a coin on who did it first, yeah, you dig? Yeah, yeah, but it yeah. was one of those things where we were doubling up on the words, you know, you dig? What's the difference between what y'all was doing and what Jay-Z and Jazzo was doing? Um, uh, you know, you got White Castles and you got, and it's not a diss, <laughs> my nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, you yeah. asked a question, but yeah. you know, you got White Castles and you got Crystals. Okay. Very similar, but not the same. I think okay. that's what they were doing, you dig? And then Jay came over the line, and then he did the Iggy D, yeah, right? Yeah, he yeah, did. Yeah. He, he really took it and touched it. 
What they were doing was doubling up on their words. They, right? they call it the triplets. That's what Matt um, okay. Jazz would call it, the okay. triplet style. Okay, you know, yeah. it's like skipping the rope, but then when you double dutch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so that's what they were doing. But I'm not going to, for one moment now, talk saying that I was doing the same content as Jay-Z. Okay. Jay-Z, of course, he was talking what he knew, and I was talking well, what I knew, which was my era was, or not even my era, was the same era, but what I was coming from, what the cloth I came from, I mean, I sold drugs, I did this. I, uh, listen, we all got a history, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I just didn't want to make that my thing to talk about. My thing was I wanted to make sure by the time I got to line two, my bars, you like, this boy bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. boy bad. Did he use an analogy I ain't never heard of before? So I wanted to do it yeah. like that. So Jay, he's his his content and jazz, their content was different, but their style was very similar. Now I don't want to say, especially with jazz, I don't know if and probably because we all did it, sat around and listen and these boys are bad, you know. Because yeah, yeah. listen, I listen to Special Ed, I listen to Kane. I just saw Kane, big up, big up Kane. The greatest rapper of all time. Right. Okay, we're on the same page, Definitely. right? So I just told Kane, yo, Kane, listen, I owe you half my shit. You yeah, know? Yeah, so if yeah, I send yeah. you some of my publishing, because, yo, Kane is that nigga when it comes to the pandemic. Yeah. day. Even Just Ice did it in a song called Lickin' Lyrics. Oh, yeah? Yes. It wasn't an Iggy, though. That. Okay. But it was, it's, I want everybody to look up Just Ice Lickin' Lyrics. It okay. came out around with Latoya and all okay. that, too. I just Going got put back. on the Migos kid, dropped it in their bars. Okay. Uh, Lil Wayne, he dropped the Iggy, and um, he dropped some bars of that. And um, that one kid from Cali, what? That yeah. game rocking with right now, Trouble or something like that. Yeah, he dropped it, so it's still out there. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And whether or not they want to give me my prison. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, we know Dodge effects. Facts, and some that. don't dig it. No, we definitely know that. When did the Iggy get whacked? Cause y'all didn't do the Iggy for a while. When did y'all say okay? It got whacked to us right after the first album, actually. Okay. Because you know, my nigga, from being an OG in the game, by the time it comes to the masses, you've been working on it. Yeah, right? yeah, so, yeah, yeah. By the time it got to the masses, we were like, ah, we don't even really necessarily want to use it anyway because we've been doing it for two years prior in our demo stages, uh -huh. right? So once the corporate America got into it and then this guy was biting... I thought, was I thought biting. it was from when Chris Cross did that, miggity, 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 miggity. I thought Listen, that was they like... they were one of the big flag bearers <laughs> while we was pissed. And let yeah, me tell yeah. you something. We almost got... Chopped by Chris Cross because if we didn't come out a day earlier, a month earlier, they would have got the stag uh, flag of we created the wow. Iggy. And the only reason why I think they heard our shit is because at that time we were, our tape was being shopped around and passed around the industry, and every A and R with an ear heard it and would feed it to their artists who they were thinking they should be the next one and the artists would listen to it and be like oh fuck it i'm gonna do it yeah so i know and i basically know that's how it got passed around the industry but luckily we and we were doing it hands down every other line every other song anyway yeah. you dig yeah i was you know? saying that shit with shit i was like wow but to answer your question that? yeah we thought it was whack because a lot of people were trying to do it so we shut it down on purpose okay. on the second album no digging yeah, yeah. and <laughs> that was a problem at the label because they so wanted that Iggy. They said. wanted that. They was feeling it. They was like, yo, son. Ain't no Iggy. Fuck Ain't this no Iggy. Right. So we have to fight. If you look on the album cover, it says real hip hop and then no diggity on the side like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I had yeah. to fight for that. I remember going to war with Sylvia Rome. Big up Sylvia. She let me have that, right? She said, all right, I'm going to let you have no diggity on the side, which to me, no diggity should have been a, a, a single in its own. You dig? But they felt we were going to say, no diggity and the people meant no more iggity. I was like, yeah, it was yeah, gonna yeah, be yeah. a slang, Sylvia, run with your boy on this. I got this. But she wasn't feeling it. Was Teddy know? Riley and them end up using They feel me, right? So yeah, now yeah. it's even part of my show. I'm like this, listen, because dig this, my I've done shows where after the show, some some chick come up to me or some nigga come to me, yo son, um, uh um, wasn't that a Teddy Riley song you just did? Yeah. Are you serious, kid? You serious about this right now? So you know, that's how I feel about this. So I make a kind of joke every time I do the song. Like, listen, this is really my... I'm the Dre that should have been on the number Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. What up, Dr. Dre? I feel you. You, you would have killed that, too. Facts. Um, so, Solid Scheme. Facts. I was... That was a production team y'all worked Derek with. Derek and Chris from Brooklyn. But I always was confused. What was Eric Sermon's involvement in the production? Eric ain't never have no role in the production other than when we brought the music out to Long Island to say, yo, did, 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 that, that shit's dope. You know what I'm talking about, Eric. Big up Eric Sermon. But that was it. Eric is my nigga, but I'm still chasing Eric to this day to get a beat from Eric. You know what I'm saying? Like, that ain't even this. 
Eric is, I think he, um, once the whole Hit Squad thing went down with Death Squad, uh -huh. I think mentally they were like, let's not rock with them dudes, you know what I'm saying? But don't y'all still, still do shows? Like yeah, that? you know yeah. what I'm saying? And that's part of my thing where somebody asked me one of my greatest pet peeves is uh -huh. missed opportunities, man. You understand what I'm saying? There's no reason why I don't have a, a folder full of Eric Sermon songs right now with Redman and Murray. You dig? Yeah, because yeah, listen, yeah. I'm here making music. I just got with Hells and we did an album in two days. Yeah. You dig it? So my thing is, Miss Opportunities really fuck with me. I don't like shit like that. But Solid Scheme, they were the ones who did all the albums basically until we went outside and got with Primo and got with you know Moby, Moby yeah. and started but Solid Scheme they were the two dudes from Brooklyn Derek and Chris that did all our shit Eric of course was big in production that's why it was assumed by the fans that he did some of the shit but not Eric so how would they sound so similar to his though or 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 Derek and Chris, fans of the game fans of Eric hey I love of, EPMD that funk <laughs> the greatest killer. group ever all right, facts. So <laughs> yeah. we, we, we students of them. We students, yeah, yeah, of, yeah, yeah. students of the game. You it's a story out there, true or false. Mm -hmm. um, y'all first show, y'all did the Iggy, y'all got booed. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> Philly, what's poppin'? <laughs> and we were still in school, kid. We were still in VA, right? So boom, EPMD call us. They had already discovered us. Because they said y'all was gassed. Y'all was confident. And y'all got booed. Yo, facts. Yo, I'm trying to tell you, man. I was... Ready, we, we met APMD like a month prior, so we, we sending them demos, we sending them songs. Eric like, yo, this shit is hot, Paris, yo, this is, this is tight. We actually got a show in Philly, come on, it was like Philly or Delaware. They want us to come out and open up. They're like, yo, we got a new group, we about to let y'all hear them. Scratch is warming it up on it. Man, we came out, biggity biggity man, doing what we was doing, they was like this. Boo. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Shit, these niggas just booed us, kid. And what made me like kind of shook was like, I hope EPMD now don't be like, did we make the right choice? Yeah, we can pull the plug on them, yep. Yeah, because trust me, if you think the Iggy is different and you got accustomed to it, kid, when we first dropped that shit on niggas, because we entered a talent show, uh -huh. half the fans at the talent show was like this. And we're in Virginia at that. But luckily the beat, you can never deny the yeah, beat, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, and, the, yeah. and the song we did was Clap Your Hands Now, people mm. clapping from the first album. So they were like... That's Clap Your Hands, that's a mix of Clap Your Hands and Blind Alley. Facts, right? Yeah, and that yep. kid, he did the beat from Brooklyn okay. Around the Way, right? So, yeah, to answer you, yeah, we got booed, man. But yeah, they was like, I don't know what they heard, but we know what y'all could do because we had been feeding them demos enough by that time they knew we had it. Out of all your records, what's your favorite song that you did? My favorite? Daz Effects, yeah. Day One Effects, hands down. I see green when I see that, when I hear that record. <laughs> Is it like, green as in dollars or green both, as in... Okay, both, both. Yeah, Maybe yeah. it's the album cover, but it's taking me around the world. It's paying my bills to this day. And that's a record that I wrote with my left toe. Like, I didn't even struggle to write it. It just bumps diggity bum. It just came out. The beat... You know, I'm like a tailor, right? So uh -huh. if I'm writing a song, I'm going to tailor it around the beat. If the beat goes, I'm going yeah. right up with yeah. that bitch. I'm going up, I'm going down, I'm going in, I'm riding that bitch. So Bum Stickity Bum is the same way. The drum roll, if it wasn't a drum roll, there wouldn't have been no Bum Stickity Bum. So the, the beat dictated to me what to say, what to do. So, But that song is the perfect song for me because at the time, Scoob and I, we were in sync like fucking... Left and right. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So almost the same person. It was almost yeah. the same person. So that record for me was my favorite record. Your voice. Yeah. You 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 speak right now. Your voice is really raspy, kind of mm -hmm. deep. But when you rap, your voice is a little different. Mm -hmm. Did you was that a conscious decision to alter your voice sometimes when you nah, rap? Nah, I think with me, with my voice is um, my voice is an instrument that like uh -huh. I'm like a probably a. I'm probably the only singer that can't sing. <laughs> and I think when I use that... At least you admit it, because some right. motherfuckers think... No, I can't sing. sing. Yeah, but yeah. I can, if the plane is going down and the yeah. pilot's like, we need somebody to hold a note or we're going yeah. down, I'll be like, I'll fucking yeah, hold the yeah, note. Yeah. But I can't... Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't KC in this bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? So I think what happens when I get in the booth, I hit... Uh, 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 
a melody kind of thing yeah. because the beat is you know so I'm with the music but I can't sing so I think my voice changes because of the like I have songs we could play for you that you're like yeah, yeah, yeah. is that you and before the song came on I didn't know I could do that you think do you still do the Iggy in 2015 yeah of course yeah still got rides yeah, yeah, of course yeah. I mean I do it but I uh, it's like you know you cook you got a recipe yeah, and yeah, you yeah, reach yeah. for it sometimes off yeah. the shelf like ah oh, shit yeah I should make that it's Thursday night they like that on Thursdays you think? my favorite Dodge Effects song is it's two of them mm. um Mike Check a remix mm. when that doom 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 when that yeah. first start is like oh shit yeah facts right and the Pete Rock Just a Men remix <laughs> far the left like yeah. Them cuts on that little something like this, yeah. I was like, wow, that's when Pete Rock, you What's know, still is the song? greatest, but it was like, if you didn't have a Pete Rock remix, you wasn't doing it. You was, you was trash. You was out the game. For me, I remember the day we were, um, cause at that time we were on Electra and a lot of, that was yeah. the thing, you put your single out, you have to mandatory get a remix, right? So yeah. we had producers submitting all types of remixes. They were trash, 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 trash. And then they told us, Pete Dead One. We came in. We were at the label and they played it in the big speakers. We was like, oh my God. He had the cuts and everything on it? It was already finished. Oh, he did because he flew your vocal. Yeah, yeah. yeah done it. I said, Dog, this is so good. Yeah. So I hear you on that. And um, Solid Scheme, they did um, the Mike Checker remix. That was boom, boom. boom. Yeah, boom, boom. And let me tell you the story about Mike Checker. Yo, Go ahead. that song, the album was done. Wow. We had no hook for that record. It held up the album. We almost left it off the album so much that it, that's how much it held up. We had no hook. Wow. We tried this hook. We tried that hook. We tried this hook. We tried the sample. Nothing would work. And what Derek and Chris did, they just went through the lyrics. And found that shot. It yep. took school from saying, Mike, check a microphone, check when he, in his rhyme. Man, man, put that in there and see how and it worked. And if you don't know, that's Redman on the ad libs on that wow. record. That's Redman. He used to part time DJ for us because yeah, yeah. he wasn't ready yet. His album, quote unquote. He's a DJ for another group, right? That y'all so called had issues with. That the people think y'all had issues with. Lords of the Underground. Facts, facts, facts. Do it all as my man. What yeah. I do, you know, Jersey Connect or whatever. Red from Jersey, but yeah, I think the story um happened with uh, how Redman got discovered was the night. They went down to the club in Jersey, um, do it all, and his peoples were the ones that were rhyming. They were trying to get on, and I think then Red grabbed the mic and started rhyming, and Eric heard him and mm -hmm. actually tried to sign him. So I think they would have been the duo in the hit squad if we wouldn't have came along. But I think, you know, Bozzy Bob worked out the way because then they got with Molly or whatever. Yeah. But, um, yeah, yeah, Red was actually DJ. Of course, yeah. Red got skills. He still go out and do shows now. When I'm did DJ you did y'all so. ever have issues with Lords of yes, Underground? Yes, of course. Okay. We had issues with Lords, Funk Dubious, Common Sense, went up to everybody. You already know it's just documented, right? But what to me it was silly beef. It was dudes in their twenties, machismo. You can't tell me nothing. It's like T Pain now. Everybody want to auto tune them to death. Uh -huh. got beef with everybody, right? So yeah, we went through all those phases, of course, it's, it's documented. So the comment came from, I used to love her. I seen brother slamming her and taking her to the sewer. Exactly, right. I always thought he was talking about y'all. He was. Yeah, he was. definitely. Was. We had a thing with comment. Yeah. Pick up my man, I just, you know, hollered at him, congrats on the Grammy, you know what I'm saying? But we had those issues because... Was that a Grammy or Oscar? He won the Oscar, Oscar, right? Yeah, Oscar. Yeah, he won yeah, it, but yeah. damn, I think he got a Grammy too. Yeah, he probably not, did. I think he's trying to get the Grammy. Yeah, yeah. Congrats again. Better do. Cause yeah. of, but... I think um, what we did was the normal thing, which is, and I still see it going on today, Nikki, Lil' Kim, uh, yo, can you please tell them to go on tour and make all the money, please? Go, go, go. Yeah, they if were clean. Das, Lords, Common, Funk Dubious, if we could have all just got guided and say, don't fight, no, don't, no, no, don't fight, just go on tour together, make all the money, cha-ching, go, yeah, okay, bye. That's what I wish somebody would have slapped me up and did at the time. You understand? Uh -huh. But I'm 22. I got a couple of mills in the yeah, bank. Yeah. <laughs> garage look like a parking lot. Some of the baddest chicks around. Can't tell me none of greatest that. food. You fooling with my money, son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You dig? So I wasn't having it. And the scoop wasn't having it. So we took to the pen. And then it got a little ugly. And, you know, but that's one of my, if you have regrets in the game, I wish we could have got over that, came together, put the sandwiches together, tore on that shit. Can you take me back to the headbanger session Facts. what was that like 
I wish I could, but I wasn't there. Thanks a lot, Eric and Parrish. <laughs> you know, we just came in and the song was done. Wow. Facts, you know what I'm saying? And we still was like, Because why I was always like, why I'm going to tell you what ahead. happened in my yeah. opinion. You hear me? You hear me? Pawns in the game, this is where I'm at. Big chess, right? You have Hit Squad, Death Squad. I think this is what happened. Prior to that song being done the week earlier, we did Hum and Coming at you. Yep. And that was done by Parrish. Wow. You understand? And I think Parrish and Eric had this thing going behind the scenes, and then boom, okay, so you did Headbangers with your guys' DOS effects? Well, I'm gonna go grab Reggie and do yeah. Headbangers. Yeah. And no, of course I don't want DOS on the record. That's why. Is 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 Redman on um, Humming coming nope. at you? Nope. Exactly. So in his world, he might get asked the same questions. Yo, why wouldn't you want Humming? You know? But by the time we stepped into the Hit Squad, the love was gone. Don't get it twisted. Them dudes had already been beefing behind the scenes. We stepped in, there was dudes, and we played a movie back. I used to be like, what up, son? Mm. Word, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, it took yeah. for my man and them to put me on like yo son them dudes ain't really on shit ain't right yeah right i mean we on tour dudes got big guns laying all out and i'm like that gun should be pointed the other way by the way <laughs> <laughs> you dig i'm like something going on on this tour bus so come to find out the beef had already begun and then the shit just imploded hit squad um potentially could have been one the of the greatest biggest. groups in hip-hop history facts and they're still doing, uh, see, it's, it's, it's like um, a, a template. It's like a, that you copy. You get the guys in the group, and then you get the one female, right? And uh -huh. they've still been copying that formula. Rough Riders with Eve, Cash Money, Young Money with Nikki, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. De Disturbing the Peace, the one girl. It, the list goes on and on and on. That's the format or whatever, and I'm not mad at that EPMD started the format or whatever. What I'm just kind of p pissed off of. Yo, dude, capitalize on the shit. You feel me? I'm still waiting for the Hit Squad headphones that yeah. we should have done. I'm still rocking the Tims, you can see, you know what I'm saying? That mm -hmm. I should have the major deal with Timberlands. I redid my Adidas to my Tims. You know what I'm saying? Still trying to make it happen with Adidas. So that's where I'm at with the opportunities that we could have and should have had with the fucking Hit Squad. You understand what I'm saying? Final um question in the past. Facts. Um why Parish? over Eric Sir. Um, you know that saying, you busy choosing, you was uh, being chosen? Uh -huh. We didn't have a, a fact in the matter, you know what I'm saying? We got, we went, to, we entered the talent show, they both were at the talent show, gave them both our numbers, but like I said, what was happening was there was already a power struggle going on between the both of them in my eyes. And Redman was already running with Eric mm -hmm. behind the scenes. I think he even might have had paperwork with him. And once we got in there, Parrish gravitated towards us like, yo, these are my guys. And we signed to we signed to Schumer Management with him. Okay, remember I don't that, even yep. know if that was part of Eric, some of Eric, but we got chosen. Yo, these are my guys. You know what I mean? And once the beef now, which was coming, we didn't even know the beef was coming. The beef is very well documented. What happened between them, we had no choice, like, oh, I guess we're running with Parrish, because Eric showing returning my calls. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you did, you did. Um, 2015. Facts, making history. Why do you still fuck with this game? Yo, it's not even that I still fuck with this game, it's that I have no choice, it's like breathing. Okay. You feel me? It's like, I have no choice, the game fucks with me, I fuck with the game. Like, somebody wanted to say, I'm not even hip-hop, I'm music, like, I'm... You know, and I'm not one of those guys when you press play, you're like, this dude don't have a first clue about music. So that's the thing about my shit is I have, I wake up, go to bed, and it's music. Now, why I'm still fucking with music is because I know I have some shit to contribute to the fucking game. Especially just rocking with my man Hells right here. Like I told you, we did an album before we could even blink. So that's why I'm still fucking with hip hop. You know, and not to, there's something missing, there's always something I'm missing. I'm bringing it back so, and, yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to even go, to, oh, because listen, this dude's doing shit like I'm doing now. It's just not like they said in, in the movie, and I keep using this analogy, if you don't show, you don't know. Yo, niggas are still making that L hip-hop, but if it ain't on BET, VH1, MTV, you like, the shit must not exist, right? Right, nah, but we still here, kid. How do you feel when a DJ might play, they want effects, mm -hmm. um... My favorite record mm -hmm. was um, Straight From The Sword. Facts, right. Um, and then you send them a record 
and they don't play it. Yeah, I mean, that shit boggles my brain, and I think why is because it depends on the DJ. Now, if I'm okay. sending it to the DJ who's playing what has to be on the list from the program director, uh -huh. I'm not tripping, I'm not stupid, I understand he has his job to keep. The shit, and you're from 8 to 12 midnight, you better play my shit, or you yeah. should be playing my shit, right? That's where I'm kind of fucked up at. It was the days where dudes were run down on the DJs and choked them and fucked them up of and course. scared the shit out of, of them. Of course. Do you of think course. some of that need to come back? Probably, but I don't feel that I should have to be yeah. the one to do that. You should just hear my shit like, what? Oh my God, I'm so privileged to even get the record. What I don't like is when people in certain positions like a DJ or like a Wendy Williams who has the position and the... The, the platform to be like, I wish these rappers from the 90s would just stop making records. What about if somebody said to Wendy, uh, Wendy, why don't you put the mic down and go sit your ass down? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? That, it don't make sense. She'd be like, no, I'm still relevant. So her should, she should be like, of all people, she actually like said her that? should be champion. She actually you know? said that? Of course. Wow. I'm watching it like, wow, why would she say that? She's putting out the wrong message. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's like, why don't Flex go sit down? Why don't this one go? So you get to a certain age, you got to just quit. Like, come on, this is stupid. And that's kind of the issue why I think maybe they don't want to play a crazy, crazy record or some DJs. Uh, isn't, should, should, should he still be rapping? They didn't want me rhyming in the first place when I said I was going to drop out of school now that i'm a certain of a certain wisdom and age they say they shouldn't be rapping that when was the slot that i should have been rhyming motherfucker tell me and you actually were good at it i'm great at that yeah. shit. you know what i'm saying it's not even like uh it's like come on can michael jackson dance you know what i'm saying it's not even a question it's like yo if anybody should be doing music it's me and house million dollar question saying? why are you solo why is it not more dies effects albums because listen i'm doing on some obama shit like why he said he ran for presidency uh -huh. and shit to, uh, out of urgency, you know what I'm saying? Because honestly, the last Dallas Effects album was 2003, you dig it? Okay. And I'm not getting any younger, you know what I'm saying? Big up to school, and we still do shows. We're going here, we're going there, we're going here, we're going there. Twice, three times in a month, you dig it? But for me, I don't want to be a touring band, right? Um, that's cool. You don't want to be the Atlantic City Vegas nah, dude. that's not yeah. me, you dig? And it's too much fun going on in hip-hop. I'm, what I'm going to do, let Drake and Wayne and all these kids and Tiger have all the fun and drive all the Ferraris and do all that? Yeah. <laughs> you think I'm going to let you get away with that? You crazy? Mm -hmm. I'm coming. I'm here, right? So that's why I'm like... And I want to do records with Drake and Wayne and them. Why? Because I want to spar. I want to get in the ring and I want people to see the, oh, okay, Drake still got the chops. And you ever watch those award shows when this singer get on the stage with that singer from an early Yeah, era, you see they, and you're like, whoa, bust they, they bust their ass. Whoa. Yeah. You know, so I want to make it fun and I want to make great music. You know what I'm saying? It's no, you know. Kind of a rhetorical question, but um, how do you feel when people say, bring the 90s back? And you give them that feel, you are one of the biggest groups in the 90s but then they don't accept it yeah um bringing the 90s back to me that question is just one of those things where i mean if we're going to try and bring the 90s back we need a lot of people one to try and work together one two i don't want to go into that but two it's almost like uh, are you gonna bring disco back? Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like it gets confused. They done changed the shit to EDM. Ain't no yeah. more house music. Right. You you understand what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, so yeah. It, it just gets confusing to me. Like, and what uh, what bothers me too is I'm grateful that my records are getting played on XM and satellite and all that shit. But but son, I'm making current music. I don't want nobody calling me all the time. Like, yo, Dre, we just heard they want effects again. I'm like, good. I'm getting the check in six yeah. months. I appreciate it. But tell those motherfuckers play. Play my new shit. New shit. shit. The Onyx got new shit. Yeah. I got new shit. MOP got, got new, got new yeah. shit. Yo, where's the radio? Where's the BH1? Where's the, where's the, yo, play the new shit because don't show, don't know. You dig it? That's why I'm loving being here with you. Yeah. Like, oh shit, this nigga's still alive. Look at yeah, it, look yeah, at yeah. it, look at it, look at yeah. it, look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. New look shit. That. When is it coming out? It. What's the name of it? Yo, the new shit is, I've been dropping new shit since 2012. I've Where can they get some of your material at? Yo, right? just Google Crazy Drazy with a K-R-A-Z-Y, D-R-A-Y-Z. I got Facebook, Crazy Drazy. I'm the one that's verified. I'm on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? My thing is, just if they don't know, they don't show. I don't have the platform to be like, yo, unless I'm not a nigga out, run down the street naked, yeah, yeah, and they're yeah, like, oh yeah. shit, on wall star. <laughs> yeah. You dig it? So I'm 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 on I'm online, social media, go uh -huh. try and get it up or whatever, but I've been dropping albums since 2012. Solo shit, Showtime, Showtime Encore, Faith Mixtape, Faith Part Two. Now the 
current project, I'm with my man right now in the studio, Hell's right here in the heart of Brooklyn, and we dropping just we the music we're making we're gonna drop later this summer. Okay. We got a joint called My Ink. We got a joint called Sorak and Reefer. We got joints called Five A.M. We got a joint called Another One. We got a joint called Five A.M. Well, what we're doing is we want to restore the feeling now of is this New York all over again? Oh shit! Because to answer your question without even ask, being asked, it my end goal is. Next year, this time, we're doing the interview at Aftermath. Yo, what up, Dr. Dre? Yeah, yeah, well, I'm signed to Aftermath now, and, um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my end goal. Like, why are we doing shit? And niggas, you ask them, yo, what's, what do you want? I'm just doing it, cuz, and... Fuck that. I'm, I'm trying to get back in the building, and the... I've done the indie. I just... I'm still indie, and I'm still doing indie. But I figured out, okay, certain things, and what we're making needs certain attention. Certain machines, my Facts. Heart. Give us a record everybody love mm -hmm. that you made that you absolutely hate. Give y'all a record that, that and we with, that we love, uh -huh. but you hate that shit. And it's not one of my records. It is your record. It's my. I hate freak it. <laughs> I fucking hate that record, dog. <laughs> Yo, that record I was doing back laps in the pool at my mansion <laughs> when I wrote the shit. And I almost fucking fell out of the pool when the record label calls like, we need a record by Monday. I was like, whatever twins I had with me at the time, baby, get off me, baby, get off me. And ran in the studio and wrote up some bullshit. So I hate that record, freaking. The beat, solid scheme, they, what? They was busy doing jet skis and Ferraris. Yo, we need a record. So we rushed that record. I hate that record. Did the money fuck up some of your music? The money, yeah, man, I mean, you know what fucked up our music was, in my estimation, um, not being prepared. Being prepared because, listen, after the first album, write the movie, look at the movie. I was doing, I was a single man in my 20s. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? And I was a millionaire. In fact, so, not focused. A lot of things coming in. You think you're the shit, right? You think it's going to go on forever, and then the music suffers because... Focusing, not necessarily the money with Solid Scheme. Ice Cube called them away to Cali. They were doing everything under the sun for Cube Cam, and then they were doing R&B remixes, and they were. When you get so your core, too thin, your core was going, yeah. The core, and then everybody, and then once yo, when the record label comes back, and you need it now, and you need it now, and then at the time a shift in the game, Puff. Craig Mack, like we were just talking about, West Coast is making their bow, wow, wow, you beat. They was coming, you dig? So it was a lot Even of though Eric Sermon started the funk first. Of course, you know. In the bomb why. squad, but it changed to gangster lyrics, killing right. murder, bitches, hoes, and right. Content. nigga. Content yeah, nigga. changed, you dig it? When you did the song with Ice Cube. Check yourself. Was you like, I ain't doing this shit. Nah, nah. Yeah. nah. <laughs> what was the check like? The check was lovely. We okay. still getting checks, big okay. up Cube, you know what I'm saying? Do, so do you get two checks? Because you it's original, mm -hmm. then he did the remix. Y'all not a part of the remix, nah, right? Okay. We just get the one solo check yeah, every yeah. other day, which I love and shit seeing that shit in the mail like um, What's the I biggest amount of money you've gotten? Six hundred oh from that? From publishing. Oh man, the biggest check I've seen at one time was about uh seventy five K, you know. Damn. You know, yeah, it was a beautiful thing, like is this mine? You know, Christmas and shit. Early. What's the stupidest purchase you made? The stupidest purchase I made, man. These are good questions. The stupidest purchase I made was... Damn. Uh, probably had to be jewelry. Yeah, I mean, I bought some pieces of jewelry. And I wasn't even a really jewelry fan and shit. And then... Uh, Cars, cars, yeah. man, cars. I was leasing cars. <laughs> you know, I was doing some crazy shit with the money, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Give us something that you bought in 1993 mm -hmm. that you still have today. Still Tim's. You, yeah. <laughs> still got the same Tim's? Holy Tim's. <laughs> My Tim's, kid. I got Tim's from 92 still. Kid. You don't throw them away? Facts, man. I got, I got Tim's, man. I got hundreds and hundreds. And hundreds of Tim's. Kids. Was it ever a point where you didn't want to wear the fatigue in Tim's? Nah, that's just part of my. Cause you still got it on. <laughs> Literally. Yo, yo, one thing you're never gonna see me in is just a suit. Like I'm yeah. just not a suit guy. Like yeah. Russell Simmons don't wear suits. Even on my wedding day, we just gonna be like this. I do. <laughs> What's popping? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm. A, but my thing is, 
you know, you just know what you are. You know what I'm yeah. saying? At some point, you, you know what I'm saying. So for me, just Tim's, and I'm just from the I'm just from the hood. Will you, you just, will you ever dread again? I'll never say never. You know what I'm saying? But what I got right now is easy wake up go. Just yeah, like yeah, Tim, yeah, yeah, Just yeah. like my, my my dreads was. But for me, the shit was. I had them a long time, kid. Well, that shit was heavy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heavy, yeah, kid. Yeah, yeah. You ever try and wash your dreads and they got to sleep with them shits? And I, and I had the big shits. Not the little cute, mm -mm, big log shits. You dig? Smoke a split, big shit. So, yeah, you know what I'm saying. All right, so before we get out of here, anybody you want to shout out? Man, I want to shout out all the motherfucking people like you, man. You know what I'm saying? And everybody on the other side of that camera, man, that's taking the time out to know and acknowledge that I'm still here. That's my only thing, awareness, awareness, and careness. Yo, Crazy Drazy, I'm still here like it's day one. I'm not a rapper from the 90s. I'm a rapper that happened to be from the 90s. So I love to, and I appreciate the support. Find me on Facebook, my social media, Crazy Drazy, I'm here. My biggest thing is I need people to like my page, acknowledge me, support the music, support, support, because my shit is hot, son. One love, yo. Yo, hells, we about to do this, son. Yo, dog, we got this, son. You see him, son. You see the family, son. <laughs> we out. One love, yo. Peace. Doggy Diamonds did this. Hey, thank you for watching. Don't leave without subscribing. Hit that subscribe button. Peace.